Hi everyone, welcome to another video on the channel. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Warren Bennett and we've got Trev mooching around the garden chasing his tail over there in the sun. Now this is all about trying to introduce improvements to your game any time of year. So when we're playing in the height of summer and we're playing a lot on the golf course, you don't really want to take apart your swing and make any big changes. But that doesn't mean you can't make any changes. So any time you go to the range, you kind of break this kind of um, practice sessions up into little se sections. This is a great little exercise to improve kind of path, bit of extra speed. Now, people have loss of speed and a loss of distance, and especially over the toppers as well. I've, as you can see, I've got a, a cone here just outside my right foot from the front view, and from the behind view, you can see it's just inside the path. So if I take, took my club head back straight, you can see it's just missing on the outside. And um, that's going to give you the visualization of where this club wants to be. Now, people who struggle tend to bring the club inside too much. So obviously the, the, the golf swing is an arc. It is inside, square to inside again, but you don't want to do that too early in your backswings, especially as you take the club head in too much straight away from the ball. Now, a lot of people who do that kind of fan the club face open as well. So you can see from the behind view, you've got the club face quite open there. So when you think about it, this club needs to get back to this ball somehow. And if you, if you drag it too far from the inside, you're gonna now have to find some sort of balance on the outside. Because I've very rarely seen people go from inside and stay inside. This club under speed, you see, wants to balance. So in a practice swing, nice and slow, obviously I can do that. But as soon as I layer some speed into that, the club's gonna to wanna to fly out. So you've got this little reverse figure of eight going on here. So it's in and over. So this exercise is the reverse of that. And, the, and the one thing, solving, can cure the four things. That's one of my little statements, isn't it? If you find the one thing, you can hopefully cure four things. It may not be four things. Trev, out of the way, bud. Good boy. So what I'd like you to do is put a, don't have to have a cone. So what I'd like you to do is start nice and slow and smooth like we always do and quite short this swing. So what you're looking for, you're looking for this club, not to pick your hands outside, but you're looking for your club to keep looking at the ball. You can see from the front view there, I've got the club looking back at the ball for as long as I can. And the club head is now going outside. Outside from the behind view is this side, outside. That's inside, that's outside. So you want the club, so your hands to stay nice and passive. You can see from the front view, if I was wearing a glove, the logo would be here. I would keep that logo pretty much the same. So not a lot has happened, because what you don't want to do is drag it on the inside and your arms, you can see from the behind view, get very stuck and narrow, and they've got nowhere to go apart from throwing on the outside. So we're gonna try and reverse that, everyone. Let's build a golf swing. So out, and then from here, you're just gonna allow the club to drop on the inside of that cone. So there's a little bit of lifting up, but that, that everyone, gives us some rooms. You can see there, if I take this club outside my, the cone, you can see how much room I've got with my right arm there. So I've got a big gap. Now my right arm wants to fold and drop. Okay, let's hit a few. So nice and slow, nice and short. Out drop through so we're not looking necessarily for strike right now not looking for performance not looking for result you're just looking for mechanics of this club head to stay outside so my arms are going to stay nice and wide and that's going to give me somewhere to go for my arms to go right again nice and slow and short head nice and still we're not doing it with our head keep it nice and wide nice and slow you can see you can build up speed a little bit so you can see now we're reversing this figure of eight bad figure of eight over in and over good figure of eight is out and around really really important that everyone so give your arm somewhere to go that creates natural speed it creates good path it creates lag from the front view there this way if my club and my arms have got nowhere to go, I've got to start fishing over the top. That creates casting and that creates sitting back because you've got to probably come outside the line. 
any sort of casting, you're elongating this line here. So you've got to give yourself some room. So all these bad things coming out of this one thing, you see. So having one thing wrong can solve all this weight problems, or can give you all these weight problems, strike loss, everything topping. We want to reverse that. You can see if I create width and keeping the club outside, even if you want to exaggerate it, so it's bringing the club more in line with the cone here from the behind view. So I'd rather you this side of the fence, everyone, than this side of the fence. So I'd rather your club and your hands out to give yourself room to drop it. Let's do a few. So exaggerated. So obviously the inside bit's going to be easier now because I'm going a bit more to this way, but the outside bit's going to be a bit harder. So nice and slow so you can give yourself awareness time. Duffed it, but I was happy with the result in terms of mechanics out and around everyone that's the feeling so imagine there's a little figure of eight on the floor a little figure of eight and you can just do these little pumpy moves even if you want to slow it down even more and shorten it even more out around there's little half swings you see beautiful it's out and around and allow yourself to kick off. Allow this club to drop in the slot, everyone. Allow it to drop. See that? Out and around. So you're really feeling like this is arcing under this. Now, obviously, you want something soft enough here. So if you hit it, it's not going to break the club and it's not going to break whatever is in the way. Beautiful. Out around visualize that figure of eight i'm a great believer in taking little thoughts out to the golf course in, when you look down at this golf ball imagine there's this figure of eight into the ball out and around trust just like the people that drag it on the inside and come over the top that probably don't know they're coming over the top it's the same as the other way if your club goes out here you've got all this space for this club to drop in and your arms and hands obviously as well so like a Jim Furyk type of swing, he's out here, isn't he? Really exaggerated, but this club now has got somewhere to go. Now you don't have to be that exaggerated. I'm always one for kind of keeping it neutral. So what I recommend is just to start small and work our way up. So let's do three swings working our way up. Nice and short and smooth and slow. Let's build the pace up a little bit and build the length up slightly. And then we can try and go for a full one, but probably take a little bit of pace off. So really feel like the club's staying out for as long as we can, everyone, then drop it. Oh, I really had to feel like that's coming inside there. So it's a great little exercise. If you're finding it hard, the further away the cone is from you, the easier it will be. So if it was out here, it's so obviously it's going to be easier. The closer it's going to be, it's obviously really hard to get this inside bit. But play around with it. Go out in the golf course, go out in the range, I mean. Even at home, you can put a 10p coin down on the floor and just visualise this thing. Really feel like, you know, like the benefits of doing stuff at home is there's no result. There's no golf ball there beckoning you into old swing. So I'm a great believer in kind of repetition. Repetition always starts if you want something new is starts away from a golf ball even just doing something like this you can see i'm really exaggerating keeping the club out from the behind view out out and then in obviously when you lay a speed it's never going to go this far inside the, the force of the club wants to get thrown out but you're fighting that it's great exercise everyone give that a go let me know how it goes really intrigued to kind of change golf swings but it's a feeling like i said at the start that's not going to affect your golf swing too much you're playing golf swing you can take something like this out into the golf course and it can improve you straight away okay everyone so thanks very much oh here he is so he can't keep out the shot for long so thanks very much for everyone's support thank you very much for watching the video and i really hope it helps you and please let me know if you've tried it and giving it a go and seeing some improvements or if you've got any questions about it and any previous videos if you've got any questions too so from a very sunny uk which is really weird because we've got about a week to go to christmas or just under i think you'll see it just before christmas this video i wish you i wish you lovely holidays Keep healthy on and off the golf course and I'll see you next time. Cheerio.
Yeah, good boy.